Welcome! In front of me I have Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on the watch. To turn on the watch simply press and hold the home button, the one at the top. Keep holding it until you see the Samsung logo on the screen. After the watch turns on, you should see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll th through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Now, find the language you like to use on your watch and tap on it to select it. I'm gonna select English, like this, and then tap on the check mark to confirm. Now we need to select the uh, country or region, so scroll through the list, find the region you want to select, tap on it, and then tap on restart. Okay, so once the watch is done rebooting, you should see the welcome screen. Swipe up on the screen right here. And this should bring up the message though that it says that you need to download and install the Galaxy wearable app on your phone. So let's go to our phone and make sure that you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled on your uh, phone that you want to pair with your watch. Once you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled, open the Google Play Store, tap on search type in uh, Galaxy wearable and then tap search. You should see this application Galaxy wearable. Tap on the install button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, let's start on, tap on start button allow the permission for the location, allow the permission for the phone, and the app should start looking for the nearby devices. And as you can see, it found our watch. Let's tap on it to select it. Now we need to tap on pair and connect. Tap on pair. Here tap on OK. It will redirect you to the Google, Pay, uh, Google Play rather, page with the Galaxy Watch 5 plugin. Tap on the install button to download and install it. And once the plugin is done installing, you can close the uh, Google Play Store, go back to the app. And here we can uh, sign in into a a Samsung account. Uh, if you want to use the features like Samsung Health, back and up, backup and restore, Bixby and find my watch, you need to log in into a Samsung account. If you don't care about these features and you don't want to log in, you can tap on skip right here to skip this step. I'm just gonna log in, so I'm gonna tap on sign in. Enter the email address, then tap next. And now we need to enter the password, so give me a couple of seconds. And once you're done entering the password, tap on sign in. Now let's tap on continue. And here we can uh, agree to send the diagnostic data to Samsung, but I'm just gonna uh, tap on continue. I won't check the box, but if you want to check it, check it and tap on continue. Now we need to tap on OK to link the watch uh, with the manager. We can allow the permission for the calendar access. You can also deny it. I'm just gonna allow it. Here we can uh, allow or deny the access for the phone call logs. If you want to receive the notifications or call from the watch, uh, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. Next, we have contacts. Again, if you want to use features like calling from the watch and stuff like that, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. Messages, if you want to reply to messages, on the watch, you need to allow the permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. And the media and photos. So if you want to, for example, uh, send the photos to the watch and stuff like that, open the photos on the watch uh, with your phone and stuff like that, you need to allow the permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. 
and here we have the notification access. So if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on the watch, you need to allow the permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. I'm just gonna tap on allow. This will redirect us to this page. Here we can check the boxes to agree to different uh, terms of services. I'm just gonna uh, uncheck the stay connected uh, over Wi-Fi and L LTE with the Google Cloud. I don't care about that, but if you want to use it, you could use it. I'm just not super uh, interested in it. You can uh, also uncheck location and stuff like that. Basically, you can uh, uncheck whatever you want or check on it, check it, and then you can tap on I agree. Okay, and here we can log in into Google account. Basically, um, if you want to use uh, Google apps, like, I don't know, Google Calendar and stuff like that, you need to log in into a Google account. Uh, you can also skip this step by tapping on skip. But I'm just gonna log in into an account. And as you can see, we have the account right here that is uh, basically by default. This is the account that I have uh, added to, to my phone at some point, and I can use it to log in. Uh, to our watch or add it to our watch, but I want to uh, select different accounts. So I'm going to tap on choose other account. I'm going to select this one instead. And as you can see, now we uh, wait until it tell us to enter the password. Right here. So give me a couple of seconds. Okay. And once you're done, you can tap on next. And here we can install basically recommended apps on our watch. So if you want, you can basically uh, open this list and you can check the boxes next to the apps you want to install. Um, we have, uh, we can also check the box next to the installed on your devices. I'm not sure. Um, what it does, uh, maybe updates the app that are already installed on our uh, devices, or maybe it's the app that is installed on my phone. I'm not sure what this category is, but here basically we can uh, check the apps that are recommended for us to install them on our watch. Uh, so check the apps if you want. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and skip this step. I'm just gonna skip it because I don't want to install any additional apps for the moment. And here we can restore the watch from the a backup. So if you had some backup at some point on the Samsung account from some different watches or from the same watch, but at some point you can basically restore it from the backup uh, to have uh, all the settings you had and stuff like that. I'm just gonna skip this step, but if you want you could do that. And once you see this page on the app and your watch uh, goes to the watch face, this means that the devices are paired and your watch is ready to use. Let's wait a couple of seconds until it's done uh, starting. Okay, and once you see this button, you, you basically can use your watch normally. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.